Good morning. Um, I wanted to ponder on some things that came to me during my writing this morning about what we are saying and doing and are we aware of it? Does it matter and how is it affecting us and affecting others um, when we're not aware mm -hmm, or conscious of yeah, what we are doing? So I'm just going to literally read right from my um, writing what came to me. It's a little bit long, but we will see, yeah, we'll see who chooses to, I guess, listen to the whole thing. But I was going to read just a portion of it, and then I thought, no, it really starts here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to read it now. And, you know, all of this, it really is wisdoms that are arriving um, for me, but a lot of the time it feels like they're arriving for we, because we as a collective are all growing through the same things, um, have the same uncertainties. Okay, I'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee first. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. When the word hits my heart and hope arises, a smile hits my face, my body starts to purr. Hope arises because I hear what I yearn to hear. A sense of there are others like me. A safety fills me. I feel seen, heard, and understood. Sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised over time that they are that word. More often than not, actions prove otherwise. Mm -hmm. so this morning I really paused and pondered on all of this. Mm -hmm. Lie, fiction a fraction of the truth, taught what to say, how to say, I want all to like me, the current they ride, when a question, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the current they ride when a question, and ponder with an open heart and hopeful breath, they cannot look into my eyes. I feel a flight within them, rapid breaths, rapid words, expressing what they wished to be true. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting time with so many reflections of how things should be, a reflection of a smile, a chosen word to claim freedom. White lies, white lies kind of true, gracefully true, viciously true. Don't care, kind of care, absolutely care, no other way. Hope, fear, anger, resent, what wave are you riding? What wave are you riding, speaking from? I missed a couple pages <laughs> when I turned it um, aware. I feel we could tune into the felt sense of our words more. What are we saying? Why are we saying it? What are we seeking? Is there a hope and expectation behind the post, the word, the smile? Why you went the extra mile? Tune in to what you say, what you do. What were your hopes? To win, to mold, to protect, to portray. Are you an actor or actress? in a play you are creating. I say this honestly to myself and to all, um, for we must be compassionate and know that we are all in a vortex of uncertainty, of wonder, of what the future will look like, unconsciously. It's pretty easy to say and do many things that if we heard ourselves, considered the effect of our words, our gestures, and really tuned in to are we aware and in alignment with all that we are saying and doing. We must all look inside and observe the felt sense of our words. Do we know what we are saying? Do we feel and see our truth? 
<clears throat> How does it feel to say these words? Are we okay? Others may disagree when we speak our real truth. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of goes into two different poems here. Or no, this is... Um, yeah. <clears throat> so this is another <clears throat> poem here. Um, rivers and shores, is there more? What's behind the root, the rock, the caterpillar that crawls across me? Mm -hmm. Live, love, respect. Yes, the insect. To all is and of you. Love, 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 even the one that says and does differently. No need to feel it all so deeply. They don't know, possibly don't care. On their own journey, only the ego wants, un wants to understand, needs them to know they are not like me. Maybe it can be okay that they showed me who they are, who and what they are, a breath in and out. Clarity is in the air. They will find their way. And I am okay that I go left and they go right. Maybe we will cross paths again and trust we will be wiser and all was as designed. Thank you for a reminder of who I am and what is important to me. For me, I am okay to choose my own journey. No need to forever be in matrimony, friends, colleagues, patients, family. They may, there may come a time where we realize we are playing pretend and putting on an act, a smile, a frown, a huff, a puff, clean the house, mow the lawn to appease, to feel safe, to feel needed, wanted, desired, aware of why you say and do your gestures, are you being you or acting so someone doesn't leave you, yell at you, say, how could you? Conscious, connected, breathe in and out and play, be curious. What am I doing, saying, expressing? Is it from my heart? Not sure where to start? what it feels like to operate from a gentle heart. Remember a time when you held a baby, a puppy, how you picked them up, felt them, smelt them, cared and attended to them. Feel your heart when you remember that. Your body full of love and presence and care. This is what it feels like to be in and of love. To act from there, soft and gentle, reverent, knowing what you do matters, knowing you deserve this love too. Please, dear souls, take my... Please, dear souls, today may your choices and actions come from this felt sense of love for yourself. When you love and honor all that you are deeply, you will show others the same love and care and consideration. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, my asthma is so bad right now. And please, please, please always speak from your heart. Touch from your heart. Say and do from your heart. Slow down, receive a breath, feel, pause. When you have landed at the center of your heart, share what rises. It needs to be expressed, expelled. Even if you quiver, shake, a tear runs down your face. Beautiful, raw, authentic, please play and practice with me. The sense of lightness that arises once what has been heavy on our heart, blocked in our throat, finds its way up and out. Freedom is felt. I love you. Please reach out if you want to connect. I'm here. I'm near. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I just have one more here. It all relates, and that's why I wanted to share it today. I could have done three different things, but I just 
have so many conversations and messages from so many people right now around what respect feels like and um you know and a lot of it is really around you know the spoken word and what was said and what was never done what was never honored and how we can really like attach to those things and yearn for it because there is this sense of like you get me you hear me yes me too you know but then slowly <clears throat> people show you who they are and there's nothing wrong with that but there is a time where it's like okay that's okay I'm gonna go this way and you go that way and maybe we'll cross paths again but there's also the playful pursuit of you know pondering with people and and just sharing you know this was said and this is how I felt when it was said but then I observed this and that didn't feel good it made me like I felt a little bit of like oh I don't know if I can trust your word or another conversation that really keeps coming up is looking into ourself and that's kind of what this next writing is about is looking into ourself and where we too are doing that where we too want people and it's a learned behavior we too want people to to like us we want people to feel heard even if we maybe don't quite understand what they're saying and the depth of it it's like um i do that too or whatever it is but everyone has their own truth and the depth of their own truth and my mind for sure goes layers 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 deep it's just within me where some might be very superficial and on the surface but my felt sense of a word and what that word means to me is so different <clears throat> but sometimes it's like that like hope of just like wow i'm not the only one out there you know when some when you first meet someone and they're sharing all this stuff it's like me too me too me too i love nature i love this but then you realize that their the actions that represent their love of nature or what they think is true is very different and that's okay um and can we okay be okay to not take it so personally that they weren't who we thought they were wanted them to be who they said they were and just be okay to be like it's okay you know like we're we're different and and to still choose to carry on versus to stay and try to mold them and change them and help them see what you're seeing and what they are not you know if someone isn't reaching out and wanting that, then um, that's not to love and honor someone. To want them to change when we want them to change. To want them to be different when, when we need them to be different. Just to be like, okay, you are who you are. But when we are whole inside and we are who we are, um, we're okay to, to go right while they go left. Because we still have us. Uh, we still have we have all we need within us okay so this is the last one here i know this is a longer one but i don't know it just feels right to me um watching wishing observing listening ah i like how you smile when you look at me touch me hug me i felt your chosen words so deeply hmm i don't understand what you just said or did However, yesterday you said, however, yesterday you said that and I liked that. A dream of tomorrow, a future has me blind, deaf to what doesn't look like, smell like, the picture I've painted. Slowly, unconsciously, we mold and encourage certain behaviors, gestures, expressions, so our vision comes into fruition. Not true just had a bad day she or he isn't this way just tired angry it's been a bad month holiday on the way all will be okay 
pretend with dimmers. Mm -hmm. Pretend with dinners, smiles, coffees, that all isn't going to be forever. No need. Mm -hmm. No need to talk or say, I don't feel good when you say or treat me that way. Unsaid words, thoughts, feelings, unseen truths, seen truths. How do we proceed in a world of disconnect, of numbing? Scary to feel the slope we are on. So we put on a smile and we say, all is okay. <clears throat> we are expecting, we are expected to portray that we know what we are doing. We are strong, never scared, especially those with kids. Don't let them feel your fear, your exhaustion, your uncertainty. Say yes again when you really want to say no. The soul's light dims. And we take another step, not knowing or caring where we are going. Sadness, clarity, words of truth. It's okay. We all have these times and all in a breath, in and out. We choose to share from our heart. I feel tired. I am uncertain. It's a no for me. Tonight, I will just have a bath and read a book. I will be stopping on my way home for a moment alone. Every day, land in your heart. What do you need? Practice asking and sharing. What do you need unapologetically? Knowing what is good for you is good for all. This will nourish your soul and you will slowly awaken and share your truth without shaking. I truly feel that a lot of the challenges in being human and in the world right now is to truly be okay that what we want and desire and who we are is different. And that it's okay to just share what comes up and not to be a reflection of everyone around you and to not share, say, me too, or whatever it is. It's like to, someone's totally happy living the dream and you're like, oh, me too. Or you say, you know, I love that, that you're experiencing all that, but for me right now it's hard and it's challenging. And sometimes I feel lost and uncertain or whatever it is. But in this world of conformity, normity, containing ourselves in this realm of what is what feels good for others, what do they need to hear to feel safe and all these things versus like just being ourselves unapologetically, you know, but it's a practice. It's a practice of a felt sense of I'm going to say this and observe how the souls in my life receive it and can they receive my authentic authenticity and do they feel safe with it or do they need to go left and I go right and I stay on my journey but I do not um, conform or unconsciously say what I think should be said so that they stay with me so that they go right too because I don't want to be alone We'll be better together. You know, this is the future I see. It'll be fine, you know? It's just like, it's just a slow, gentle practice and awareness of, you know what, I, I don't agree with you. And I think this is why, from my own experiences, or as you're speaking, like I've had this where I'm speaking and I'm like, ooh, I'm just going to take a pause for a moment because it feels like, my ego is talking right now versus my heart. So I slowly have felt over time what it feels like, what it sounds like, the depth of my voice, the speed of my voice, the pauses I give myself, how I'm breathing, of what it feels like to speak from an open, raw, innocent heart of having no expectation of the person in front of me, no fear, for I just need to speak my truth. And how they receive it is how they receive it because I am loving, honoring, and respecting myself. 
and I am loving and honoring, respecting them by allowing them to see what really is me and then allowing them to show me who they are and not to expect them to be something other than who they are. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm not at 20 minutes. This is one of my longest ones. But it feels really needed right now with all the conversations that I've been having with many behind the scenes. And yeah, if you relate, if you want to ponder, if you want to reach out, I'm, I'm doing a lot of just case studies and I'm just really curious of getting to know people's minds. So if you feel like you would love to or are open to sharing some of your time, some of your thoughts around this and ponderings, I would gladly, I would take real deep pleasure and love and honor your time by really just hearing what you're saying. And for me, it's really helping develop my understanding around what we're all going through. And it helps me in all my creations and my poetry and all of these things to find words to express what we are all um, mm -hmm, growing through. Yeah, it really would be a gift. If you had that, I would love it. Um, so please, if you ever want to reach out, send a DM or you want to get on a, a Zoom call or a FaceTime call or whatever, I would um, love to hear um, what has come up for you. And yeah, gain some wisdom. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And yeah. Yeah, take sweet care of yourself and practice landing in that gentle heart of what would my heart that has no expectations that knows I deserve sweet, gentle love, what would it say? What does it need? Mm -hmm. Okay, lovers, talk to you soon. Bye.